Thanks for joining us. I'm Graham Cobb, a senior account executive here at PTG. Today we're going to talk about how to protect your business against cyber threats and information loss. Today's topic is security is too expensive. I believe that when people start thinking about security and the reason they think it's expensive is because they think of the cost to set it up and not the cost of what happens if we're attacked or we transfer money and we can't get that money back. Or what happens if someone gets in, completely takes everything that has made our business what it is today, and that business can no longer operate. So as we go through this, take some time to think about what's important to your business, and I'll help guide the conversation as best I can around the simple tools that are available through Office 365 that can actually put a pretty good wall up for not a big cost per month. Right now, what we're seeing is that cybercrime is actually a big business. Um, with the attacks day to day, we're finding that the attackers are more methodical about how they come into a business and the data that they're looking to extract from that business. Cybercrime activity is the highest it's ever been. This is primarily due to the fact that BYOD or bring your own device, that movement has just kept going and going and going to where when you hire someone nowadays it's typically what laptop are you planning to bring in or iPad or Android device and let's connect our company data to that. What's, what is happening is passwords are not being protected on mobile devices so if something's lost an attacker has the right to get into the environment uh, as easy as that. Um, the hackers today are running their organizations like a business we are seeing attacks that originate from a LinkedIn organizational chart where an attacker may get on LinkedIn, figure out who reports to who, and then brute force their way into, uh, let's say, a lower level employee's account and then work their way up. What's even scarier is nowadays, attackers are getting into environments and they're staying there for 45 to 90 days before they actually present themselves. So this means copying data, learning the lingo, learning who is in and out of the office, and waiting for that right time to strike. With this methodical entry into organizations, this is turning the cyber crime problem into a real far-reaching, almost epidemic. The, with the attacks that we are seeing nowadays, it does not have to be complex. It could be as simple as, hey, your password expired. Please reset it. Or someone calling in saying, hey, I think we put your password in wrong for this account. Do you mind repeating that for me? And more times than not, people will just give up their passwords or say, oh, well, no problem, let me get you into our environment. And so having just small things in place, um, even down to did so-and-so mean to send this request, can put you far ahead of others. With how cyber attacks have to be reported nowadays, it is really scary to think that depending on the type of data that you house inside your organization it can mean something as simple as an email out to your customers to say, hey, we were hacked and your data uh, was stolen, all the way up to calling the local news channel and having to report that data and paying for uh, fraud protection for all of your clients. So the small investment to get some great security procedures in place should be on the lighter side of your thoughts and your mind should go to, yes, yeah, security is too expensive if we don't do anything and then we have to go back and put these measures in place after an attack has already happened. So you may ask yourself, what are other businesses my size spending on security? Well, surprisingly enough, we're actually seeing the growth in small businesses when it comes to their budget and uh, security. So now we're seeing about a 15% spend. And again, it doesn't have to be a full suite of things. It could be something as simple as setting up multi-factor or two-factor authentication or adding a couple spam management tools to grab that mail out before it reaches your environment. We have a customer who had everything set up inside their environment to protect against an attack their customer was attacked and the way that they went about stealing money they actually got into their accounts receivable department and changed one number on all of the ACH forms sent that out to all of their customers 
And so the customer of the customer, bear with me here, reached out and said, hey, um, you guys are 90 days late on your payment. And our customer said, no, we've been paying them on time. And that customer kind of stood back and said, oh, wait. And they realized that all of their payments from their customers were actually going to this third party that had been sitting inside their environment. And it's something as simple as having two-factor on their phone to where when you log in, you approve or deny that login would have stopped that attack. So Microsoft 365 Business is one of the latest tools in the toolbox when it comes to Office 365. We're able to turn things on and off depending on the situation to really harden an Office 365 environment, again, without breaking the bank. And the tool that we use, that we've developed, is called Advanced Cloud Defense. It's a three-part system that we believe truly addresses the security faults that people have right out the gate when they're setting up a business. So the first thing that we offer is a customized login page. That way, anyone on your team, if they log in and do not see your company logo up front, they should know not to log into that environment. Step two is a thing called advanced threat protection. Simply put, any files that come into your environment, if they are malicious or have an executable within them, Microsoft scans that real time in their sandbox and will pull that message away. That being said, there's typically about a 45 second to a minute delay on attachments, which in the grand scheme of things is a drop in the bucket compared to an attack. The other real neat thing that advanced threat protection does is any links that are sent real time once you open them up there's no delay if it is malicious microsoft will stop your browser from going to it so you really worry less about educating your team on what to click on and what not to click on and you let the tools that are embedded within office 365 do the work for you the last one i mentioned is multi-factor i'm sure most of you already have it set up underneath your bank account so when you log in you get a text message or a prompt saying hey this is Graham logging in, we're good to go, or no, this is not, report and flag uh, or lock the account. Essentially, we're looking to do the same thing. I used to joke um, that I, when, we, when I would go to customer meetings, I would just tell them my email password flat out, and if you know anything about me, I'm big into fly fishing, so it had to do with something with that, but I knew that if I had my phone with me, there's no way they could get into my account. So it's it provides a lot of confidence when it comes to your company data. So I know that I went over a lot of things here. I think the first step is to figure out what in your data, what in your company is important data-wise, excuse me. So that could be as simple as do we have files that uh, maybe contain patent information that if they got out our, our information would go under? Or is it social security numbers, patient info, um, photos, whatever that is, start there. And then we can develop a plan together to protect your environment. And again, this does not have to be something that's cumbersome that takes months and months to set up. But with the right resources, this is something that you could really check off your list before the end of the next quarter. So if you're interested in diving deeper, my information is below. I'm always happy to discuss this. And at the end of the day, I would rather fix it on the front end than have to fix it on the back end. So thanks for, thanks for tuning in. I enjoy spending time with you guys today. Have a great afternoon.